For this resistance soldering demonstration, we'll be using a model 10509 system with a single electro style handpiece, return clip attached to three leads. This is a power strip. We'll start off in here where you can get a clip of the run. Like I'd like to show you something first. Look at this electrode. And you see how I've got this modified with a little channel there and a flat. That's to help localize that. Okay, and I'm going to come back down here and we'll go ahead and do some soldering. Get my wire in here so it's ready to go. You see it's pretty quick. I'm going to go ahead and move over to the next one. Give it about a half a second at a time to allow it to wet into the piece properly. You can see the solder cool over so that you know your joint is solid. You kind of control that by the visual. You can see you get some pretty good repetition here going right from one joint to the next. And you're staying on that just an extra half second to make sure the yeah. solder re-solidifies? Uh, yeah, that and uh, to get good wetting into the into the tab and then when you see the, the when the run light stops and, and I still stay on it, that's to allow the solder to cool efficiently so I don't get a cold solder joint. And when I pull the solder away and hold it for a moment, that's just for wetting. I want to get good saturation. And you're absolutely right, we want it to cool a little bit before we let go, so there's no vibration. So you can see we get a pretty good run, one consecutive joint after another. You can see it's pretty consistent. We control the amount of solder that's going on there. It's fairly rapid. We're able to stay fairly well within our uh, standard recommended duty cycle. I'm actually on the B and C, which is the middle range of power for this system. So I've actually got quite a, a lot of um, room yet to grow into if I want to hit it with a little bit more power as you get uh, you know, better uh, familiar with the equipment and, and the application. You can actually speed this up a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit the end piece here. You see it's a little more mass there, so it's going to be a little bit longer to heat that. But you'll see that I'll still get a pretty good saturation on this. And if, let me get my run light up here so you can see that. Okay, and you get a good idea of the actual time required. And because it takes a little longer to feed, it takes a little longer to cool, again to eliminate a possibility of a cold solder joint. So you can see that even with this extra mass, we're still able to feed that pretty quickly. And there you have it. 